Hello, I'm Eli for Edu for Hava, and this is tutorial number six of SQL. We're going to learn how to use the insert into instruction to insert registers in tables. The first thing we're going to do um, is create a new table just exactly the same as publisher, the ones we had used before in tutorial number five. Okay, we're going to create this table, but we're going to call it publisher number two. We come here to copy clipboard and choose create statement. There, where it is, here it is, create statement. What this does is copy the instructions to create a new table publisher, as we can see here. Uh, it doesn't have the dot publisher it should have before the publisher. This uh, really works because uh, here, if we come here in schemas, by default you say edu. You can then use this directly. If I, I we don't need this, we'll see this later. If I executed this as it is, the application will tell me publisher already exists. We're going to go write publisher2 and execute. Create um, table publisher2 and let's execute. Okay. We have the table publisher2, edit table and here we can see it's empty. Let's try the insert instruction. What you're seeing right now in your screen is the syntax of the instruction insert into. Here you can see that after insert into, it says table. To make an insert into, you have to say in which table you would like to insert into the data, of course. In our case, we would like to insert into this new table we have, publisher2. Insert into this table. Okay, after the table, Yes, here, edu.publisher2. That's the table where we want to insert to. After the table, it says we have to write a list of fields. You can see uh, the list of fields is written inside these square brackets. These square brackets means that uh, what you write inside is optional. The list of fields we are going to write are optional. In the meantime, we wrote two fields, name and phone. If you remember, we had three, but ID publisher was auto incremental, so even if you don't write anything, it's okay. Here are the values, the list of values. These here are the two values. They have to coincide with the ones of the names name with new store and phone with 55666. Let's execute this. It looks as if it works OK. Let's go to Publisher 2, Edit Table Data. We can see that the data has been inserted correctly and that one has been written as the ID publisher. This would be the first way to insert data, writing the insert into the name of the data, a list of fields, and a list of values. Another way um, would be to do it in combination with a select. You, you're going to see now the syntax is on the screen. Okay, insert into the name of the table and the list of the fields. To here it's just the same. What is new is that instead of values we have a select instruction. What this uh, really means is that we can make a select of the values we want to insert and automatically they are going to be inserted in the table. Let's uh, you use the um, publisher table now to um, do a select and we're going to use everything inside the publisher table. We're going to select the name and the phone and we are going to insert it into publisher to table. Here it is, name, phone, and we're going to put it into edu.publisher2. We can 
um, really delete the setu as I told you before and the name and phone which comes from the publisher table we are going to put them in here we could see first what does this select give us ok execute and we can see what I want to insert in the table publisher 2 here it is let's see what we have in the table publisher 2 right now we're going to put select asterisk from publisher 2 this is it I execute and we can see that we have added to register here they are lastly we had said before that the fields list was not always necessary that's why we had written square brackets in the syntaxis definition when is it not necessary? It's, it's not necessary when the values we're going to insert through the values clause or through the select clause are exactly the same number and in the same type. This is the for which is going to be here new store for here new store is the next one well we could change it because it's already exists we can put right old store 555666 okay we execute we make the query and perfect the four were, were inserted as you can see we don't have to spe specify the fields because we're using the same order as the one which is defined. In that case when you use the same fields all the fields and in the order it was defined in the table we don't uh, really need them. This um, okay this is the same order and this will be all the types of inserts. Uh, you can this make this a lot more complicated uh, here in the select instruction we can make it with a WHERE instruction or with a JOIN as we saw before you can rename the fields, you can do plenty of things but um, mainly these uh, two instructions, with these two instructions you're going to be able to do uh, really whatever you want this is uh, the end of, the, of this tutorial and we'll see you in the next one Bye.